So, over the weekend I decided to take my computer apart and give it a good old clean inside and fit it with two terabyte mechanical hard drives instead of the one terabyte ones that were in there before. Um, so the computer's got two SSDs and one M.2 Samsung Evo 860. One of those SSDs is home to Windows and then the other is home to whichever Linux distribution I might be playing around with or testing at the time, but that will change, you know, almost on a weekly basis. Um, and then the Samsung Evo is where I keep my main Linux distribution that shouldn't really change too much, although, you know, distro hopping, yeah, that's real. But for the most part, that should be stable and stay as what it is, because that's what I do most of my editing. I have some Samba shares, some SFTP shares, and whatever else, all from my main desktop. Usually, that distribution would be Ubuntu. However, as much as I like Ubuntu, I feel like it's time for a change. But I can't just part ways with apt package manager just yet. So, um, I've, I've been using it for too long. It's ingrained in my muscle memory. Even when I'm on a different distribution, I often find myself loading up a terminal and trying to inst install a program with apt-get. So... Let's just stick with Debian. So the way I partition my disks with the Samsung Evo is 32 gig for swap, which will enable me to hibernate, and the rest is for root. Um, there is no additional configuration needed to have hibernate work on Debian. You just need to make sure you've got enough swap for your partition. So the two mechanical drives have been combined into a RAID 0, which mounts at home, and then home will be backed up just to an external hard drive that I've got, which is 4 terabytes, which maxes it exactly so um you know any risk of having home on a raid is going to be nullified a little bit by just having a, a backup so with that out of the way let's jump over to our new debian desktop and take a look right, around so here we are at our debian desktop using the gnome desktop environment with a few tweaks here which i'll just talk you through very briefly just to let you know what tweaks are running which allows us to have this kind of setup in gnome so we have caffeine which is just a simple little applet that stops auto suspend and screensavers you have a clipboard indicator which just allows you to go through your clipboard history and put it back into copy and paste dash to dock which is here which will also be in your overview which just gives you a nice dock to the left to launch applications from and then you have frippery move clock <laughs> this is just a personal one i use quite a lot so usually your clock would be in the middle or at least it should be but i've done the measurements it's not quite center and that's just too much for my brain to to deal with so i'll, I'll put it to the to the right here um yeah um hibernate status button so that allows us to do status hibernate like we had spoke to earlier because we've got a big enough swap partition so we can hibernate it and have all our programs open as soon as we turn it back on which is a, a real time saver um, user themes and tray icons so Debian's implementation of GNOME in Debian 10 doesn't have these icons at the top for your running programs in the background so I've just had to install a extension there called tray icons which allows me to have programs run in the background properly because um, before that a few programs weren't actually so team viewer for example was on auto start but it wouldn't work because it couldn't get the program to run in the tray icon and it just gave me a funny little dialogue box so we, we've done that and that sort of fixed most of those problems um oh sorry let me open it back up again so this is albert the launcher that we've just got which is kind of like a spotlight sort of launcher so in appearances, the theming we have used, we have stolen the Yaru light theme from Ubuntu. Um, I know it's been getting a bit of people annoyed, but I quite like the Yaru light theme. So people are complaining that it's too much like Eduata, but I like it. I don't quite like the colour of Eduata. It's like a washed out creamy yellow. Never been a fan. So we'll go back to Yaru light. Seems a bit cleaner to me. Um, and this is what it looks like with Yaru dark. And then you also have the two I use the most is Yaru light or arc darker. And then Arc Darker will give you transparency, like that. So let's just go back into Yaru Light for the sake of this video. Okay. So we spoke about the disk setup. I'll quickly show you it in disks. So the way we've set up our disks now is this is the array that's got our home partition. So if we go into Files and then click into Properties here, You'll see we've mounted home and it gives us about 3.7 terabytes. Um, these are quite old slow drives, but in a raid it's managed to boost them a little bit. I think they I mean they were struggling to get that much higher than 100 on their own, but with raid, um, let's have a look. So with raid now they I think they get to about 260 benchmark partition. I'll um, I'll add some more hard drives to the array over time and it'll be a bit better. 
So let's have a look. Yeah, 280, 260. Okay, let's try. So where's our do do do? And this is what the root is mounted on. And let's just par do a benchmark partition for that. So you're getting about 560 on there as well. So that's where my root is. Uh, everything goes up pretty quickly, to be honest. Um, not too much of a bottleneck having that on home, I don't find. I haven't found found it to be anyway. So let's just carry on going through. I'll talk you through which applications I'm using now. So I've stuck with Evolution for my mail. And then I've got LibreOffice for me, sort of word processing. But to be honest, I'll just, I'll just use Office. I've got Office 365, so I'll just use the web apps. Um, or if I've got internet trouble, I'll then use Libra. Um, Caden Live for my video editing. So what I'll do after the film this is I'll chop it all up and edit it on here. And then I'll export that with this. And then use GIMP to edit images, things like my thumbnails. Google Chrome is my web browser. Telegram desktop for my chat, settings, and Steam. Um, I only just installed Steam, so I'm not sure if any games have installed yet. Hopefully, what have we got? Uh, hopefully that will be installed by the time we've got near to the end of this video and we can see what sort of performance we get out of that i know what i was getting roughly on ubuntu so we'll give it a go i had to enable the um non-free repo to get the amd gpu driver but everything seems to be good install Vul vulcan and everything else um just haven't actually tested on any games yet so that will be interesting to do so we'll just leave that down there so we use Nautilus for the file manager. The only problem I'm having is because obviously I've got XFCE as well on the same installation. So I do have a few sort of doubles of programs that do the same thing as each other. I've managed to go through and uninstall most of what I can, but then there's certain things that you you know you wouldn't think would be an issue, but then it there's dependencies for other things that will just make life a bit harder. So I've I've left what I've had to and taken what I can. Um, I've boiled it down a bit so that. At boot, I get about 800 meg on GNOME. I haven't tried it with XFCE yet. I'll probably try that later tonight. Okay. So that was the applications we've got. And then if you just go in here, you get an overview of all the applications and you can scroll through and then you've got a frequent tab as well as. But I don't tend to use overview with the super key. I just use the Albert, which is I've put it to space and alt and then I can launch anything here really so applications bookmarks files firefox terminal web search all just from from here so makes my life a bit easier because i'm just used to that and i have that on every distribution that i have and i have it on my mac as well obviously spotlight i don't have albert on my mac i have spotlight okay so now that's out of the way let's check open on htop and just have a little look at the specs here so we've got 2.5 gig in use and we've gone into the swap by 149 and we've got all cores running at about 10 ish percent let's just check what our swap value is yeah i don't know what it would be default as um on on ubuntu the default 60 i don't know what it would be on here 60 so it's the same okay brilliant Right, so all you have a software store, which is where you can install most of your applications from, or you can just use the command line, which is what I do. And then I'll just, so I say you wanted to install, what will I need? Bang. So that's basically my Debian desktop. The only sort of things I've really had to do differently to what I usually would do with Ubuntu is obviously had to add myself to the sudo as file um, and I couldn't do it the usual way so you used to be able to go su and then into root user mod ag but I had to do an su and a dash anyone know why that is I'm not too sure but then it all works fine um, I've got virtualbox on here but it wasn't in the actual repo so I had to download the deb I'm not sure if it's all properly installed properly yet we'll tinker with this later but yeah so that's debian um i'm gonna try my best to not change it i'm just gonna leave it as that as i said i've got an extra hard drive that's for just playing around with different distributions this partition is going to be dedicated debian and we're going to do a few more videos on debian actually because i've neglected it on the channel completely and i don't know why so that's my debian thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video please subscribe Take it easy.